Have you ever selected and planted a beautiful young tomato plant only to find it growing erratically and underproducing? Or perhaps your plant buckles over under the weight of too much fruit? What you might be missing in your tomato care regimen is a really good pruning method. That's right. When and how you prune your tomato plant has a great deal to do with what kind of plant you will grow and the harvest you will reap. Why is it important to prune tomato plants? If you don't trim tomatoes, they will become a heavy, shrubby, multi-stemmed plant that will fall over once they have fruited. Additionally, when fruit and foliage are on the ground, they are more prone to disease and insect attack. Pruning allows for adequate air circulation and creates a healthy, compact, and productive plant. Tomato suckers. Tomato suckers, also known as side shoots, appear in the crotch between the stem and a branch. If not pruned, they actually morph into another main stem with branches, flowers, and more suckers. Although you may get more fruit if you let the sucker grow, the fruit will be considerably smaller. It is important to trim away these suckers early on, as they compete with the main stems for nutrients. How to prune tomato suckers. There are various ways to prune suckers. Some gardeners prefer to prune out everything that is below the first flower cluster for strong stem growth. Others often leave a couple of suckers on the lower portion because these can be easily supported by staking. To keep it from becoming too top heavy, they prune the suckers from the top half. Pruning tends to be somewhat experimental. Do what works best for you. Just remember that you will have to prune suckers all summer long, so check your plants frequently. Prune suckers when they are small. To remove a sucker, grab the tip between your thumb and forefinger and bend it back and forth until it snaps. Do this when suckers are young, because the small wound will heal quickly. Stems that are thicker in diameter than a pencil should be removed with clean and sharp snippers. If your goal is to maximize your harvest, prune suckers only sparingly. As mentioned above, prune only below the first flower cluster. If your summer sun is intense, it is best to prune only what you need to in order to avoid sun scald on fruit. Allowing more branches to form sheathes the rest of the plant. When garden space is a premium, or you are training tomatoes to a ladder or stake, it is best to prune your tomato plants to one or two main stems only. Pinch off all suckers to create a compact and sturdy plant that can easily be supported. If you are training your plants to a cage or tower, it is best to pinch off suckers on the lower end of the plant, but allow suckers higher up to grow. If you'd like to grow a brand new tomato plant from the suckers you prune off, then you can do that.